All right, well, here we are at the ScrumCon convention, uh, Saturday, April 8th, and we are going to get ready to play many different war games and role playing games. All right, here we have one of the many games, The Devil in New Jersey, or Jersey, I guess. Um, I'm playing this game this afternoon. Uh, for those of you that don't know, there's like a flying demon that flies around in uh, New Jersey and it's quite the folklore similar to Mothman Bigfoot and this fella here that's running this game is a phenomenal game master and he ran a Da Vinci game at Historicon that was incredible and I had the honor of giving him an award at that event so uh, let's see what other games we have around here. And I'm trying not to bother the game masters as they are hurly long trying to get ready for all the game players. And here we have the great Steve Brock. All right, well, we are here at the Jersey Devil game, and I'm actually in this game. And it's starting about a half an hour, 40 minutes. And like all games that this game master runs, they're incredible, the detail the work he puts in them, and oh my gosh, it's Goober the Traveling Bear. He's here for this game too. So, let's get a few close-ups. The Jersey Devil. And for my viewers in England and all, in Australia, you don't know what the Jersey Devil is. Would you like to tell me what the Jersey, oh, there he is. There he is. All right, so that's the Jersey Devil, and he flies around, and would you mind giving me a one-minute squeal or whatever? So I know you're busy. Uh, yes, uh, well, the, the Jersey Devil is an actual legend. In, um, in southern New Jersey, there's an area called the Pine Barrens, uh, a very uh, thick forest. Uh, there is a legend that, that a woman by the name of Mother Leeds had a child in the 18th century that... Uh, she had sworn that if she had a, more than 12 children, uh, the last one would surely be the devils. And she had a 13th child, and it transformed into this creature that had fur and, and uh, the head of a horse and big horns and bat wings and terrorized uh, southern New Jersey. And the legend still continues today. There are periodic spottings of it and that sort of thing. Very good. Uh, what's your name, sir? Je Jeff Wasilewski. And you did the great uh, Da Vinci game at the well, Historic thank you, thank you, It was thank phenomenal, you. and I did a video of that also. So uh, I won't hold you up anymore. I know well, you're thanks. very busy. Thank you for yep. your time. Thank you. And we'll see you. Okay, how about um, uh, Frostgrave? Okay, Super Brave and that's very similar to Frostgrave. Both of them did very simple, very, very simple mechanics. I've dumbed them down even more. Uh, for this game because my old brain can't handle complicated rules and uh, to make it play quicker. Uh, the game runs about three hours-ish, maybe a little bit, bit longer, uh, and hopefully you will get to uh, have a, uh, a fun adventure as you, you deal with, with the evil that is New Jersey. Uh, so... <clears throat> These are the times that try men's souls. Thomas Paine, The Crisis. There is a vast primeval forest in a dark and troubled land whose history speaks of ghosts innumerable and demons and creatures that haunt the dreams of man. I speak, of course, of New Jersey and of its infamous pine barrens. There was a village once, hard by these mighty woods, 
called Crosswicks, built upon the ruin of an old Dutch colony. And in this village dwelt a woman by the name of Leeds, who had borne twelve children. She was heard to complain, or perhaps to boast, that should she have another, it must surely be the devil's. Well, in 1735, Mother Leeds did indeed give birth to her 13th child, a fine, healthy boy. But within moments of its birth, the child began to change. Thick fur grew from his legs, which turned into cloven hooves. Razor-sharp talons sprung from his fingers, and the child's head transformed into that of a horse, but with wolf-like teeth and great horns thereon. Bat-like wings spread from his back. Suddenly, this newborn horror sprang from the birthing bed and before the midwives could stop it, flew through the cabin window and disappeared screeching into the dark pile. For five years, no one spoke of Mother Leeds lost child. That is, until the killing began. At first, it was a chicken or two. Then, a prize sow. Then cows and horses, and finally the villagers themselves began to die. Torn asunder with a great effusion of blood. It was soon realized that all of the victims had, in one way or another, earned the ire of Mother Leeds. And so, the village minister, one Reverend Hadley by name, and his church elders took action against her as a witch. But she did not go easily into that trial. And she had a devil at her back. The ensuing struggle was long and terrible. Half the village destroyed and many villagers slain. All of Mother Leeds' children had been killed, all save the three youngest daughters, triplets. Mother Leeds herself was burned to death in her own cabin, her charred corpse taken up by Reverend Hadley himself and buried in secret so it might not be used for dark magics. And then the good Reverend returned to his church and hung himself from the rafters, filled with terror and despair. As for the devil, it was not slain, but was driven back into the woods, and wards placed against its return. And so for many years, the devil remained quiet, and memory of his terror began to fade. That is, until three times thirteen, this is the thirteen, three times thirteen years had passed, and the devil came out of the woods again. But this time, the devil was not alone. In its wake came an army of ghosts and demons, and the villagers again began to die. In desperation, they appealed to the Philadelphia Society for Supernatural Philosophy, a Benjamin Franklin founder. The society, recognizing the danger the devil presented, has now sent its foremost demon hunter, the Reverend Samuel Longwing of Lancaster County, and charged him with discovering why the devil came back out of the woods and returning it back to the perdition it so richly deserves. But word of the devil has spread, and other parties, some with motives far less beneficent, have become interested. And now, all these disparate groups are descending upon this small village
among the pines. And all of them are searching, searching for a devil in Jersey. <laughs> so we have started the game. Inside the bing? Hunting down the Jersey yes. devil. So, so these two guys are, are yours. This, this is Nathan Soprano. This is his assistant, Orange Kitty. Oh, I know. That's it? Yep. And then I just get turned on the what am I able to do? You, you are already in the store. Yeah. 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 Yeah